How's it going? Connor here from Train Like a Warrior and on today's video I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be overviewing Tom Hardy's bodyweight workouts that he used to help put on some serious mass and size in his movie roles for Bronson and I think also Warrior. Now he said within the Bronson movie that all he really used was bodyweight training. Him and his coach wanted to create a sort of physique that was built by someone who would be in a prison. So bodyweight training was the best method to use to help build that type of physique. A lot of people think that you can't build muscle mass with bodyweight training, but I would completely disagree because if you have the right strategies and overload in play, you can get in some serious shape. This is why I have so many bodyweight workouts here in the channel, and this is why I've been using the power of bodyweight training for myself and my clients for a long time. So I'm gonna get onto the laptop here and get the video up of him and his coach talking about the training that he used for the movie role in Bronson. I'm gonna give my opinion, what I think could be improved, what I like, what I don't like, see how it goes, something different that you can implement into your own training routine, okay? I was like he was there broad as body, so I wasn't like Christian Bale and Batman or anything like that, I was like, you know, I was only had a sort of broad and barrel chest. Okay, so right away, this must be his starting physique that he was using. And then he had to put on some size from that. Now, do I think this is possible to be achieved with bodyweight training? I definitely do. If the nutrition is in play, now if you're in a calorie surplus where you're going to be eating more food, you're going to put on more size anyway, even if you're not doing any strength training. But if you're doing the right sort of bodyweight strength training, you're going to see some incredible results. So this would be his starting point, which isn't bad. He's already has some solid muscle mass, so he could be doing body weight uh, workouts beforehand, or he could have been doing a bit of weight training. I don't really know, but whenever it comes to this here, he's definitely put on a lot more size with the nutrition. The impression of that in very short space of time, the skills that we worked on were quite specifically sort of dips and press ups, lifting. And we had to develop a solitary physique. Okay, so he's talking about uh, dips, one of the best bodyweight movements to really help build up a bigger chest, triceps, and he talked about push-ups. Now, in my opinion, push-ups are one of the most effective movements to really help build up and strengthen the chest, but you're also interlocking more than one muscle group. So you take any push-up, for example, you're engaging the core, the triceps, the shoulders, even some movements to upper back, you can get in some serious shape by overloading your body with push-ups. The kind of physique you would, you would develop if you only had uh four walls and a floor to do the main. So we focus mainly on that kind of thing. That's cool, I like that. I like the way that for the movie he's obviously playing someone who's locked up in prison and then for the role he wants to try to build that physique by using body weight training. Um, dips on the bed, upside down push-ups, push-ups. Upside down push-ups, handstand push-ups. One of the most effective body weight exercises to really help build up the upper chest, the upper back and the traps, the shoulders. Now Tom Hardy's known for having very good traps, and if he has been using handstand push-ups, that's probably one of the reasons why. There's so many different kinds of variations of push-ups that um, we were able to cover a quite a large... Okay, so um, this push-up variation here push -up. seems to be like a pipe push-up on the knuckles into a body up from the forearms. Now, I actually have never seen this uh, body weight push-up variation, but I'm gonna try it, probably add it into this video here and let you know what I think, but right away, using your forearms to push off. Brilliant exercise to help build up the forearms. That's what he's talking about that he wanted to achieve. Uh, the knuckles to really help overload and strengthen up the grip. And then the pike push up to blast the shoulders and the delts. This wasn't designed to stay as well. It also worked out. Um, really, in all honesty, it's about putting a lot of weight very quickly for a specific purpose, you know, and that, as the filming went on and it was less time to train during the day. I mean, you'll, you'll see if you're watching the film closely, Right, so he's talking about putting on as much weight as quickly as possible. So he definitely focused on nutrition, strength training, whether it be body weight or whether it be weights, you will see results as long as you're fueling your body the right way. So by the beginning of the film shot, yeah, so you can see that I'm actually much smaller there than I am in other scenes where I'm walking around the cage. So my body was smaller and smaller, didn't it? Because a lot of it's about, he said. Um, so this must be for Warrior too, because he's talking about walking around in the cage, okay? So body weight training has obviously played a big role 
into building his physique. So I've skipped on a bit now to see a wee bit more of his training. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, okay, here he's doing a mountain climber with sliders, okay? Now, some of you may be looking at this and be like, how the hell is this going to put on any muscle mass and size? But obviously there is a more structured routine till this. When they're talking about those push-up variations, I'm going to showcase some different push-up variations here in this video that you can, you can work towards, okay, to really help overload your body and build out some serious size and strength. You take the one-arm push-up, for example, the one-arm clap push-up, archer push-ups, pipe push-ups. There's so many different variations, adding in more explosive bodyweight push-up variations such as your chest tap, okay, your hand and butt push-up. All these different variations are going to help put on some serious muscle mass and explosive power within your physique. This here, he's probably targeting the core, even though that he's in a calorie surplus, he's probably putting on a lot of size with a bit of body fat. Um, it's still crucial to train your abs also because that will help even shape off the physique, even at a higher body fat percentage. So if you're in a calorie surplus and you're eating the right amount of food that your body needs every day to start to put on weight alongside your body weight strength training, you're gonna get in some serious shape and condition. So, let's see. I mean, that wasn't a whole workout. Yeah. There's loads of stuff. It's just the beginning. I mean, there's literally dozens and dozens of ways to work every single body part you have. And then, there's a, there's a further attempt to Right, okay, so he's talking about how there are so many different body weight movements that you can use to target so many different body parts within your physique to help put on muscle mass. And I do agree with this here. Now, for so many people probably looking at this video, they're probably going to be looking at everything that doesn't make sense. They're going to say, like, how can this gain muscle? But if what they're talking about, they actually do within their training, okay, they're talking about the handstand push-ups, the different push-up variations, like even that forearm uh, body up push up into a pike, that will build some incredible muscle mass alongside your nutrition. Like these different push up variations, they didn't really talk about legs here, but the different body weight leg exercises, you know, focus on that overload, you're gonna see some incredible muscle mass gained, okay? 20 different ways to make those body parts up so that you're working groups of muscles rather than focusing on certain muscles. So that's another uh, key reason why I love bodyweight training. Personally do it every single day. Have all my clients to do it, even if they're big into lifting weights. Make sure that they can master the body weight because what he just said there, you're always interlocking more than one muscle group. You take that push up, for example, you're hitting the chest, the triceps, the forearms, the traps, the core, everything is engaged and therefore you're gonna see some incredible results with it. Tons to do, tons to do and uh you hate me while we do it, you love me in the morning. Okay, so that was a five minute video of his coach talking about the different training methods that they use to help put on some size with body weight training for his role in Bronson and I think Warrior there. So my overall opinion on that there is, I would agree with most of that. If you focus on the right body weight strength movements and you're overloading your body within the sessions, you're focusing on eating the right amount of food, in this case, the calorie surplus that he needed to put on weight, you know, the muscle mass is gonna come no matter what type of strength training you're doing, especially if you're focusing on the likes of the handstand push-ups, the more advanced push-up variations, you're gonna see some incredible results. This is what I've been preaching pretty much ever since I started training and started to see results. At 14 years old, I was in my room performing push-ups, always pushing myself towards the more advanced uh, variations, pull-ups. They didn't even talk about pull-ups in that uh, video, but to create that bigger physique, that wider physique, pull-ups is the number one exercise. And if you're combining that on top of handstand push-ups, you're gonna see some incredible results with the power of body weight training. So there it is, something completely different. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ho hopefully you took something from it that you can implement into your own training routine. Do not overlook the power of body weight training. And if you're watching this whenever we're in lockdown here with the pandemic, now is the right time to start focusing on body weight training. I have so many different workout videos here in the channel that you can get stuck into and begin to push yourself towards your health and fitness goals. So you, if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell, because I will be pushing forward with a lot more videos like this if you enjoyed it, and also many more follow along workout videos. But once again, thanks so much for checking out the video. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.
I see some things that you might fear I'm gonna show I'll be back soon That ain't what you wanna hear Now I got it in my room Legs wrapped around my beard Got the fastest car zoom Oh, we need get out of here When I'm with you, I feel alive You say you love me, don't you lie Don't talk about how you want to die Keep the business on